I'm at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. to experience the Explore the Universe exhibit. In this exhibit, we can see replicas of Galileo's telescope and telescopes that have been created since then to explore the universe. Let's take a look. So I'm standing in an example of what Galileo's telescope probably looked like. Here, he had two lenses, both towards the bottom with an opening towards the top. He was able to make so many discoveries looking through his telescope. He was able to see that Venus had phases, which indicated it had to be between the sun and the earth. He saw sunspots rotating on the sun, proving that objects in space other than earth rotated. He saw mountains and seas on the moon, proving that celestial objects were not smooth and perfect as was thought by society at the time. And he saw that Jupiter had four moons revolving around it, showing that objects could rotate around bodies other than Earth. All with his telescope. He had no idea what he had started when he created his telescope. Let's go take a look at some of the other telescopes created since then. The next part of the exhibit shows William Herschel's 20-foot telescope created in 1789. Galileo's telescope was only three inches, Herschel's was 20 inches with a 20-foot tube. Here, you can see the size of the tube compared to a 6-foot person. With this telescope, Herschel was able to find the planet Uranus, initially thinking it was a comet. Our next stop is from the Mount Wilson Observatory. In 1917, a 100-inch mirror was created making the Hooker Telescope. This is the cage that housed that mirror. In 1919, Edwin Hubble began using the Hooker telescope to research the spiral nebula he saw in the sky. It turned out that these nebula were actually other galaxies. It was the first time we learned of galaxies outside of the Milky Way. He also found that these galaxies were all moving away from us, showing that the universe was expanding. What better way to memorialize Hubble than giving him his own telescope in space? And I know where to find a model of it. Part of the exhibit has a small replica of Hubble in space and one of the eight-foot replacement mirrors in case something happened to the one installed. You can see the small one pales in comparison to the full-size one shown in the lobby of Air and Space. With the Hubble Space Telescope, we've learned that there are thousands, in fact billions, more galaxies in the universe. This picture alone has 3,000 galaxies in it. Over centuries, by improving on Galileo's basic idea, our view of the universe has expanded exponentially. Peering back to the beginning of the universe would not have been possible if Galileo had not turned his looking glass to the sky in 1609 just to peer at solar system wonders and show that the sun is in the center of the solar system.